दसन कांति चूने सहित लीव आयुष दंता लेते दत्तुल एति प्रश्न 10 क वलकाई द ऑफिशियल सीक्रेट्स एक्ट अंडर व्हिच द गवर्नमेंट क्लेम्स टू टेक दीस मेजर्स हैज एब्सोल्युटली नथिंग टू डू विद द डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ हाई सिक्योरिटी जोन सो द गवर्नमेंट हैज एक्टेड अंडर अ स्टैट्यूट which has been enacted for a completely different purpose that is to protect the confidentiality of government materials such as cabinet minutes and so on in all these security zones around colombo there is a prohibition that is imposed on gatherings meetings expression of views expression of dissent the freedom of association all of which are guaranteed by the highest law of the land article 14 of the constitution now yesterday i heard an amazing statement by the acting minister of defense the acting minister of defense is telling us there is nothing to worry about because all these rights can be enjoyed subject to obtaining permission from the police seeking this permission 6 hours before the planned meeting or demonstration i want to tell the acting minister of defense that these are rights that we all enjoy not a matter of leave and license not because of anybody's kindness or anybody's permission we don't need permission from anybody to enjoy the fundamental rights that are conferred upon us by the constitution now in these areas which have been declared as high security zones you have residential areas and you have commercial areas now this says that when called upon by the police to do so the householder has to make available to the police a list of the occupants of his house you have to do it within 24 hours if you don't do it you are guilty of a criminal offence now with regard to commercial establishments the directors of the company the employees a full list has to be made available to the police upon demand then all construction is stopped in these areas including temporary structures no building whatsoever without the permission of the police construction sector will come to a grinding halt you can't build anything say you are in one of these security areas if the police feel with or without reason that you may have committed an offence under these regulations they have the right to interrogate you they can stop you question you they can hold an inquiry they can enter any building within this area without a warrant on mere suspicion what happens to our basic individual rights